right. Well, I'm gonna try again. Use chances. I'm gonna try and show you a small video about the uh, Echo Uniform 1 Kilo Yankee Antenna Analyzer with the modifications uh, of uh, Delta Hotel 1 Alpha Kilo Foxtrot. Um, Yuri made a very nice uh, antenna analyzer and uh, Wolfgang uh, made some very nice uh, enhancements in the code. It's uh, working uh, very well as far as I can see. But, well, I didn't really like the very crowded uh, main screen, so I moved some uh, things into the setup menu. Uh, mainly because the setup menu over here has another menu which has calibration. Some people at the radio group uh, I am a member of were playing around with my antenna analyzer and they messed up my hardware uh, calibration. So I wanted to put this away a few levels down. So these things you normally do only once. Maybe the, uh, the open short load calibration is something you want to do another time but Hardware calibration is only for the first run uh, for most people or you have to change something in the hardware or the frequency setup or something like that. Okay, the other things we did see in the setup menu were configuration. Well, nothing new. Um, the main thing you might want to change uh, is, well, show hidden maybe, I'm not sure if you have to do that. But we have here the uh, time domain reflectometer um, velocity factor setting for the uh, type of coax cable you are uh, you are using. So that's a uh, important setting you might want to change sometime if you are using some other cable in the time domain reflectometer. Okay, uh, DSP. Well, nothing special. Did not need that on the main screen. And colors is also something I thought would not have to be on the main screen. We can change uh, two different color schemes, daylight or in-house, and we can choose fat lines or thin lines. So any combination of the two above and the two below is uh, uh, possible. Um, okay, exit. Well, the calibration we already did see. So here in the uh, main screen we see uh, the view pictures, which is a new uh, enhancement, I guess, by uh, Delta Hotel 1 Alpha Kilo Foxtrot. If you uh, press it, you will see all the files that are on your uh, SD card. You can browse through them uh, by up and down or next page to have the next uh, list. And you press CO and it will open the, uh, the file you stored uh, a while back. Okay, pressing uh, on the lower left maybe anywhere else, I'm not sure, but most of the time exit in, in, is in the lower left corner will bring you back, okay we push that again okay the USB uh, card reader function which turns your antenna analyzer in a card reader so you can uh, move the um, uh, stored images to your computer without uh, removing the SD card Okay, here on the on the left you can see the uh, the standard features uh, which are uh, already known. The multi uh, SWR is a new feature. Uh, panoramic scan we have seen before in the versions made by Yuri. Uh, here, pushing in the middle of the screen, we can find different uh, graphs. Here on the top, we um, set the frequency and span. If you like, for example, want to do a 6 meter band, we just press 6 meter and can press OK, it will check 6 meters. Uh, but we can also use a, a frequency we want to do ourselves, like a maybe uh, it's minus 10 megahertz starting here, going up maybe 16 megahertz to see where the, the attached piece of cable is uh, actually working <coughs> or, or displaying anything. Um, I uh, hooked up a, a piece of cable with a dummy load, so it should not give any usable results, I guess, but we will get a graph. Um, well, you could also change the frequency by moving the cursor and just typing in the, uh, the frequency we want. Okay, we go back to the measuring screen, and we can do a scan. It will uh, try and uh, 
find the standing wave ratios of all the frequencies within the range and we can see we have a small graph here the uh, white line presents the uh, best found value which actually is shown as a 1.0 standing wave ratio and uh, something that uh, Wolfgang did implement is the log log or log switch if you use log log the uh, lower smaller values are a bit better to read <coughs> than using a log, so it's just what you prefer, you can easily switch between uh, the two of them um, alright so that is, well, maybe the most important thing about the panoramic scan you could go back again uh, there, we can also try an auto fast this will scan every one second and you can see the line is moving a little bit over here I'm going to try if I can touch the connector and you can see it move so it, uh, it presents the uh, standing wave ratio within well every second so it can be very nice for tuning I do see some flashes on the screen I have not noticed before ok we turn the auto scan off and pressing here in the middle would give us another set of um, views of the different graphs we can get ok, exit measurements will give us also some very nice values, we can change frequencies here in the, in the top but we can also set frequency here again and of course this time the span is not doing anything so we go back by pressing cancel or ok, whatever you want and we can save a snapshot here as well Okay, next one, generator, this uh, is uh, the frequency generator, it also presents some uh, raw data to maybe help you find what fault is in your analyzer if it's for some reason would not work correctly. Um, you also have the set frequency again and we also have change colors. This is kind of what you get if you change the colors to, uh, to daylight so it's a bit dark here in the room it uh, makes a big difference to the uh, surrounding uh, lights okay we change back again so we can see the antenna analyzer again I guess it could help you very much if you are outdoors having a hard time reading the antenna analyzer okay here we have the time domain reflectometer I'm going to remove my dummy load from my cable. I have a 2 meters length of cable. If I uh, set it to 10 meters and uh, do a scan, it will be scanning the cable and will we'll show a graph. And on this graph, we can see a big spike. And if we move the cursor to there, we can hear reads. My cable length is about 2 meters, which is uh, quite correct. So if you have a break in a, in a cable and you want to know what end to cut off and what end to keep, this is a very nice feature. Okay, exit. Uh, here the last one also in addition by Delta, Hotel 1, Alpha, Kilo, Foxtrot, I guess is the multi standing wave ratio monitor. Um, you can see five bands. Somehow it's most of the time appears with four bands and somehow these frequencies tend to change I don't know why but they do change you can easily set them by pressing on them and not now in this movie of course somehow it hung up okay well this is not quite working perfectly but I explained to you most of the other things I think it's working very nicely so uh, Yuri Wolfgang thank you very much for working on this nice project